Congrats on the biz. Yeah. And the talent. Those things look sweet. Yeah, yeah. We'll love one. We we'll love one. Who, who, which I player? I just, so. yeah, I'm just throwing it at player. Here, why not? Mac? Uh, no, nah, put, put a six on it. Put Belichick on the back. For what? All those rings, baby. He said, I'm already making a custom jersey. <laughs> already, already on the way. Already on the way. Speaking of a custom jersey, I think, I'm think i thinking about buying a C.J. Stroud's The One uh, jersey. Shit. Smart mm. investment. Rookie. He's a rookie right now. Really? He, is he? he is a rookie quarterback. Right now, he's not vested in the NFL. He was playing college ball a little over a year ago. Yep. He is a rook-ass rook right now. And he appears to be a 45-year-old on the yeah. football field. His constant composure, it's unbelievable. just his confidence, everything about him oozes and radiates face of a franchise. He came on our show last week in person. We got a chance to meet him again. And it's like everything about this guy is phenomenal. And then you look at the way he played in his first playoff game with NRG Stadium, the Stride House, buzzing with everything on the line. Him and Nico showed up. Mm -hmm. Obviously, all the young guys they have on their team showed up. It's like the Texans all of a sudden with the best defense in the league. Now, on the road, they were terrible, so I don't know why or how, how that happens. But with the best defense in the league, statistically, depending upon which stat you look at, Singletary running all over the place, it's like they didn't blink. AJ, nope. they were not scared about anything. He's throwing the ball into tiny little windows. As a rookie, mm. as a rookie, he's doing these things. So you'd assume Slowick probably going to get a head coaching job. Maybe not. Maybe he sticks around to continue to grow something special with C.J. Stroud down there with D'Amico Ryans. But this was a phenomenal showcase of what the next looks like in the NFL. And C.J. Stroud is it. And then obviously Jordan Love joined him the next day. And tight end pulling away from everybody absurd. It's like... This Houston Texans team, AJ, is fun. This Houston Texans team is young. And C.J. Stroud is ridiculous, oh. AJ. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, this, this touchdown right here, that was one of my favorite plays of the game, obviously. They, yeah, they came out, of the, came out of the gates just absolutely hot. The moment was never too big for him. And, I mean, think about it. Their defense scored two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. you, your probability of, of winning that game already has skyrocketed when that happens. And you couple that with how well and how efficient this offense is. Like, yeah, how how do you beat this team if they continue to play like this? AJ, uh, Joe Flacco made some plays. Flacco. There. Joe Flacco uh, played. Well, Joe. And the Flacco story was obviously one we all fell in love with. Yeah. And we love Joe Flacco. We still think Joe Flacco mm. has a lot of football left in him. And this defense just had him absolutely rattled. And Joe Flacco had a couple Flacco throws. That's yeah. going to happen when Flacco's playing football. But they showed a play, I think, from like four weeks ago or five weeks ago where this particular linebacker there, he was late on the read and he broke it up as opposed to the pick yeah. and it's like now every single game these Houston Texans are like learning and mm -hmm. getting better and better and better playing their best ball I absolutely love it it yeah. sucks defensively been healthy and they've been for, great uh for, against, uh, it sucks for us for sure yes. but been great against the run uh for the majority of the year and that was one of their biggest issues coming into this year uh great against the run you saw that pick on that little stick route he was obviously ready to prepare for that but CJ Stroud like I mean, he looks like a 10-year vet. His composure, his understanding of the game. I feel like his warm-up, his you know, quirky warm-ups when he's doing all the off-platform. Like, he does all that same shit in the game. Like, all those little quick throws, the ball just jumps off his wrist. Uh, his his supporting cast wouldn't be guys that you're necessarily right about coming into this season, but they've taken off in ball all year long. Nico Collins showed up again. Schultz had a drop early, uh, but he showed up as well. Uh, just hats off to Miko, CJ, that, un unbelievable. You talk about Don Schultz, who's kind of a vet in the mm -hmm. entire thing. He has that drop. He and CJ just quick. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, on to the next. Hey, we, we don't even worry about this thing. And you talk about nobody expected anything from this team. They were a dumpster fire. Yes. yes. Dumpster fire. D. Dumpster. March 2020. Didn't feel like a very good job, did it? Didn't feel like a very good job for D'Amico no. to take. We're like, yeah, of course, D'Amico makes sense to hire him, but it wasn't like a job yeah. people were probably clamoring for compared to others. Look at the odds of winning the Super Bowl in March. Back to back, one and done. Ooh. Worst in the league. Colts right there. Is that, good? Is that good or bad for people that don't know? Plus 20,000. Oh. You, you bet 100, you win 2,000. No, 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 no. You no, win no. 20,000. 20. Ooh. You win That's 20 grand if you bet 100 bucks. These people are going to win a lot of money down there. Right they, now, right now you should. I don't know. Out. They weren't showing up at games, so I doubt they're betting Matt. on them. No, nah, but there's somebody down there in Houston who's. I'm sure somebody. Yeah. No doubt about it. I mean, a buck to win two grand, but you could probably cash out of that immediately. Worst in the league. Everybody thought they potentially sucked for the forever, forever. Talking about them drafting Martin Harrison this upcoming year.
Uh, Panthers. Panthers are pretty high because Steph Curry. Right there. They're about in between the Falcons and the Steelers. <laughs> oh, Steelers. Wow. I was told. Yeah. 5,500. Wow. Houston Texans plus 20,000. That was one of those things. Just Tony just said it and it reminded me when they, after the draft, when they do like next year's draft projections, they had them taking Marvin Harrison at like two. Yeah. Houston yeah. Texans are going to be back in the top five. Yep. Easy. This is how this is going to go. And then D'Amico builds a culture immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah. And isn't it funny that if you get like the right couple people, like Will Anderson, yep. I think He's all they awesome. say about him in behind closed doors is like ball. The guy. He, then, up. he got a sack yesterday. Mm -hmm. He got a sack. And then yeah. CJ Stroud, all he does is show up in ball. And then you hear, heard him give us the answer that was like, yeah, I do believe in the quote, like winners win and losers lose. A lot of people have won in our building. We just kind of had to make sure that was the case. They've all kind of bought in and expected themselves to be great immediately. And I know McNair, I saw him dap up CJ Stroud as he was going in the locker room. Thank you, God. Yeah. You are the best. Yeah. Thank you, God, that you are here, pal. And for them to do it against the Browns who gave them three first round picks, a third round mm. pick, a, a fifth round pick. What? Basically all the players that they drafted with it were contributors in this game. That's awesome for the Texans. That's classic Browns. The, the NFL script writers, they had the Browns, Deshaun Watson, Houston Texans, C.J. Stroud situation. Yep. yep. You had the Stafford Lions, yep. Jared Goff. Jared Goff wins mm -hmm. that situation. Right. You talk about Big Mike McCarthy, yep. LaFleur, yep. Jordan Love, sure. Green Bay Packers win that game. Steelers' bills being moved because of snow. Got to think who's in Breland, that country musician, 4-0 right now. Yeah, he's yeah. hot. He's hot. Did you see that, AJ? Oh, yeah, the the the, uh, the guy that you sent the other night and show me? Yeah, he actually says, got the Lions win, and it's a close call. Yep. He was like, one point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Breland. It is. Go ahead and run this thing. This guy, we need to think, what does he say about the Bills and the, Bills. the Eagles? Obviously, we're going to listen oh, to that. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got the Texans over Brown. Okay. Black on made a comeback, but it'll come back to the ground. He did. AFC them got a little different in the South. Oh, got it. Three TDs and 250 <laughs> passes. 247, I think. Now it's going down. And three. Dolphins of the cheeks. Hmm. Both have had an underwhelming past couple of weeks. I would pick Miami if it wasn't five degrees. Okay, smart. smart. I predict yep, Pacheco smart. for 100 yards at least. Okay, Give almost. Give what they need. Bills about to close the steel curtain. Oh, no. I'm almost <laughs> hurt. But the game got moved. He's almost hurt. Sadly, TJ watching from the sidelines. Game's about to cook some pitch burgers and prime. Oh. I think the Packers will upset. You never know. Jordan Love is up next Sunday. He gonna let it show. Yeah, he did. All right, here we go. Do you really trust? And here's this. Take him to the Super Bowl. Hell no. And it's definitely coming back to face the old squad. Cooper catch a couple poops. The banger. He did go off. He did. Dan Campbell's proven they ain't no frost. I think the Lions win, but it's a close call. Yep. And the birds against the bucks. It's been a little rough, but I still think we get it done. Okay, so this is fanhood. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. mentions AJ oh. Brown too. Okay. Nope. So we won't hold that against him. No. Whatever happens no. in that particular okay. game, it's we different. will not hold against him. Mm -mm. But he did have the Bills closing the Covered steel too. curtain yeah. on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. Breland might be the greatest sports handicapper on earth right now, AJ. We gotta remember that. Yeah, where's the, who's the old buddy we had in the show? He should call him and you hire him on the staff. Uh Walters. Guy wrote he wrote the book. Oh, it's in, in the book. book. Oh, it's in the book. Bill Walters. Yeah, yeah. Bill, Bill. Walters. Yep. 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 Him and Phil, get back. I think they're good um, now. I think, I think they're good now. I don't Hurt. think so. Uh, I must have missed that news. <laughs> I think they went to your birthday party, right? <laughs> yeah, that, I, actually, I think <laughs> I did see that. That was the DJ. Why is everybody at all these places trying to tell me that their whiskey's better than Jack? I'm about sick of it. <laughs> yeah, what's the deal <laughs> with that? Can I get a Jack and Diet double glass single shot? I like the taste of Diet. Thank you. We got this whiskey. It's better than Jack. It's not. Okay, Jack Dane is worth $6.5 billion. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am sick of it. It's everywhere, Gumps, isn't it? Everywhere we go, they tell us the same damn thing, and it ain't true. Can I get a Jack and Diet, please? We got this whiskey that's way better than Jack. Oh, Can't word. wait to try it and hate it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> để làm được cái hình cây sông rồng chân thực như của mình thì các bạn sẽ cần chuẩn bị bốn cái hình cây sông rồng nhé
dựa trên cái hình cây mẫu đầu tiên thì mình sẽ tiếp tục đo và vẽ các cái cây còn lại Sau khi các bạn cắt được bốn cái hình cây xương rồng thì bây giờ mình sẽ dùng cái bút mực mình vẽ những cái đường sọc kéo dài trên cái thân của những cái cây xương rồng này. Như vậy thì cái cây của mình nhìn nó sẽ chân thực hơn rất nhiều. Sau khi vẽ tạo hình xong thì mình sẽ gắn các cái cây xương rồng của mình vào với nhau. Các bạn dùng súng bắn keo. Bắn keo lên những cái mặt của cái hình xương rồng này. Sau đó mình sẽ đặt những cái hình còn lại. Trùng khớp lên các cái phần keo dán của mình. Sau khi mình gắn được bốn cái hình cây xương rồng vào với nhau thì bây giờ các bạn sẽ gắn cây xương rồng của mình vào chính giữa của cái hình tròn màu cam. Mình dùng cái giấy thủ công màu vàng để làm những cái gai cho cái cây của mình. Trên cái mẫu giấy màu vàng này các bạn dùng kéo cắt những cái hình tam giác nhỏ sau đó mình dùng súng bắn keo mình gắn keo vào một số các cái điểm mét của cái hình cây này rồi mình đặt những cái chiếc gai của mình vào với cái phần keo dán nhé. Các bạn muốn cây xương rồng của mình có nhiều gai hay ít gai thì các bạn có thể tùy chỉnh cái số lượng gai gắn lên cái cây này. Sau khi gắn xong những cái gai cho cái cây xương rồng thì mình cũng đã làm xong cái phần nan của chiếc quạt. Bây giờ mình sẽ làm cái phần tay cầm cho chiếc quạt của mình. Các bạn dùng cái giấy thủ công loại mỏng. Mình đã chuẩn bị lúc đầu, mình cuộn cái tờ giấy này lại. Sau đó, mình gắn keo để cố định cái ống giấy của mình. Sau khi có cái phần tay cầm thì mình sẽ gắn cái tay cầm vào đằng sau của cái hình nan quạt.
sau khi hoàn thiện thì mình có chiếc quạt gắn hình cây xương rồng 3D rất là chân thực như thế này. Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc rồi. Cảm ơn các bạn đã quan tâm theo dõi. Hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở những video tiếp theo. Còn bây giờ thì tạm biệt.